But now let's come back to the new Peugeot 3008. So obviously, I'm going to be giving you more details on the sales range that we are offering. Uh, the choices the brand has deliberately made to achieve this synthesis, the comfort and safety equipment available on this car. But before that, I would like to come back for a few minutes to the strategy developed by Peugeot for the last few years. This strategy can be summarized in three axes. First of all, we can talk about the Peugeot brand strategy and ambition to move up market. The ambition to, to truly uh, demonstrate this through its up market uh, trim levels and sports developments. You know that for the last uh, two years, the Peugeot brand has developed the GT line finish and trim for each of its model ranges from 108 to the new 308. The GT line uh, is in fact in inspired by the GTs. The dynamic GT versions are available in the CNT segments, that is to say, starting with 308 GT and right up to the new 3008 GT. Now, as to the emblematic GTI, the legend continues with the, the very effective 208 GTI and 308 GTI, both of them developed by the teams at Peugeot Sport. Now, this strategy, is it a success? Yes, undeniably. In Europe, the share of our vehicles equipped with superior uh, trim levels, starting with the Level 3 Allure and right up through the GT Line, GT and GTI finish and trim levels, now represent 44% of our sales. These very mixed product rich, uh, these very rich product mixes, in fact, represent 63% of Level 3 and GT Line sales for 2008. Since it's restyling, and if we look at the uh, 308 family, they represent 48% of sales. The second essential axis concerns the incredible investment made by Peugeot in a sector which is really an image-bearing and modern one, the SUV. As you know, for several years, and no matter what segment we speak of, the SUV market has exploded everywhere in the world. In Europe, in the C segment, the SUV sales have been multiplied by a factor of two and a half since 2009. Last year, in the European market, more than 1,560,000 SUVs in the C segment were sold. And this year, we've seen an increase of 21% in volume in the first seven months of this year as compared to last year. Now, in Europe, one out of 10 cars sold belongs to the C SUV family. And if we extend our uh, field, we see that if all your vehicles sold in Europe are considered, all segments considered, one out of four vehicle sales is an SUV. The program implemented is a very ambitious one at Peugeot, not less than five new SUVs in the range in less than a year. This very offensive, uh, this very strong offensive began last March with the presentation of the new 2008 SUV, while in China, the preceding 3008 generation continues its career with a facelift. We have also revealed in Europe the new 3008 SUV. In September, the long version of this new 3008 SUV has been revealed in China under the name of 4008. And finally, just a few days ago, at the Paris Mondial, the new Peugeot 5008 SUV was revealed, the fifth SUV to be revealed by the brand in seven months. Third axis, to guarantee the brand's success internationally by giving a worldwide dimension to its products. The SUV body style is a worldwide success, and the new 3008 SUV was developed to uh, f fulfill that vocation by reaching out to conquer all of the continents in less than four months. Thus, it will be sold in all destinations by January 2007. That means not just in Europe, but also in the African continent, in the Middle East countries, in the Southeast Asian countries, and of course in Latin America as well.
Now, as to China, we inaugurated at the beginning of September our fourth final assembly plant, the fourth Dongfeng Peugeot Citroen automobile plant in Chengdu. This plant, with a capacity of 300,000 vehicles per year, will be totally dedicated to the production of SUVs, among them the new 4008. That, uh, this vehicle has a wheelbase which is 55 millimeters longer than the new uh, 3008 SUV. So as you can see, Peugeot's approach is quite clear. It is ambitious. It is clearly well thought out. And it is in presenting these three axes that we understand why the new Peugeot 3008 SUV is at the heart of this strategy and why it is essential in representing the brand's ambition. Indeed, it fills in all the boxes. It's an SUV. You have the GT and GT line finishes, which are at the top of the range and which will be produced and uh, sold at the same time in Europe at Suzhou and in Chengdu, China.